Hello, hello. So this is a very quick one about gratitude. So I'd love, please, for you to explore what are you grateful for? So there's an amazing thing called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. And essentially, I don't know if you've come across it before, but, um, maybe, maybe not. It starts with the idea that on the bottom, it's a triangle, and on the bottom layer, it's the idea that we need to have security. So that will potentially be physical security to know that we're safe, that we need food so that we can sustain our bodies, that we need um, you know, resource, so that will include things like uh, food, water, um, clothing, things that protect us. So that again, that's another part of the security. Um, and that you need um, a friends and family around you so that you've got a kind of support network. And then after that, you then start moving into things like skill development and self-actualization which essentially means where you are coming far more on purpose and you're able to do things because you want to do them and because you're passionate about them not necessarily because you have to do them so you know there are times and places in life where we'll have to do stuff that we don't necessarily want to but actually the end gain will have taught us something and even now lots of people going through scenarios that they never thought they'd be in, um, going through hardships that you'd probably never wish on anyone, but they will come out the other side stronger. And the piece about gratitude is that it enables us to say thank you for whatever we have, whichever situation we're in, is to be grateful for it. And that can be quite tough if you're having a hard time. But if you're then looking and you break down the scenario that you're in and you go, you know what? I'm just really, really grateful for having food on the table, having a running toilet, having water. Oh my goodness, here I get to be able to drink water out of the tap. I spend a lot of time in parts of the planet where there is no running water, where literally we'll have to go to the borehole, fill up a container and that's our water for the next few days, that's it. So, you know, the idea of washing on a regular basis is a dream. You drive to go and find somewhere where there's enough water to be able to wash. Um, you know, so this whole piece about washing your hands and keeping everything sanitized. For some people in the planet, that's just not possible because there isn't the resource there. So, is explore, what do you have around you that you're grateful for? Every day, and I love the idea if you're able to, of doing a journal for this too, of what are the three things that you're thankful for? What are the three things that you love about yourself? And then what are the three things that you'd like to improve on? And by exploring what are we truly grateful and thankful for, we can always be grateful and be saying thank you. By exploring what do we like about ourselves, this can also mean that we can be grateful for the gifts that we have been given as a person. And then what are the things that you'd like to improve? I'm a realist. There is always something that however grateful we are, that we probably can improve on. So for me, that might well be my videoing skills. <laughs> um, it's definitely my cooking. So my mother's gonna try and teach me how to cook a chicken today. I'm a vegetarian, so I'm not a natural person in that space. Maybe that's also my patience. Sometimes I want things to have already happened and other people are very structured, and, you know. But those are, you know, those are, those are tweaking those aren't, do I have food on the table and do I have water? And I'm incredibly grateful that yes, we still have people picking vegetables, which means that they come to the highlands of Scotland where it's just too cold for most of them to grow. So gratitude can come in many, many forms. So explore for you, what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for from yourself? So as far as that, you know, you think are good things about you and that can be tricky to do. And what are the things that you'd like to improve on so that we can always still be striving to develop our skill sets, to develop ourselves. And those things might be to help develop them for other people too. So there we go. Ciao for now. Bye.